How can you vote for extraordinary tax cuts? How can you vote for more overseas interventionism? How can you vote for huge spending bills and then just say you're for a balanced budget amendment? The math just doesn't work. And so what Democrats have said is instead of having a balanced budget amendment, instead of constraining our policy, our economic policy, to spend more at times of war or at times of recession, which, by the way, Roosevelt did, which uh, Woodrow Wilson did, with mo many of our presidents did, that what we ought to do is have sensible government, that we ought to stop the foreign interventionism. We ought to repeal these tax breaks and giveaways to the very wealthy. And instead, we ought to invest in the middle class, invest in our education, invest in our infrastructure, invest in our schools, invest in new technology that will grow the economy. That's how you reduce the structural deficits. But by the way, this is not a theoretical debate because Bill Clinton showed that when you had that kind of people's first economic policy, you left this country with surpluses. And the trickle-down Reaganomics has always left this country with deficits.